you know what? I'm happy. Hooray. Did it! Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope everyone had a great weekend. I just finished up Weedy Guitar Studios' Jackson Neck, and I'm about to put the truss rod cover back on it. Now, on this thing here, there is the headstock. I have the tuners, the Goto tuners put in. I have the back of the neck has been sanded with 600 grit sandpaper and then went over it with a um, 1500 grit and I didn't do the heel over here. You can see the difference between the gloss over here and how matte finished it is over here. You can see the crack right there. I'm not going to be able to get rid of that. That's going to always going to be there, but you don't see it on the top at all. Now, the nice thing about these tuners is, is that uh, they are straddled as far as size goes. So you have three sets here that are closer to the headstock, and then you have these three here that are a little bit higher. Now, these are locking tuners, so which means that these tuners do not have a lot of space for wraps, okay? So if you are one of those that winds your strings up around your tuner, you know, five, six times, whatever. You can't do that with these. So basically what you want to do is unlock the tuner, line up your hole with the way that the string is going to go in, put your string inside the tuner, pull all the access, um, basically pull all the, the slack out of the string, lock them, and then start tuning from there. And you got to do that to all of them because these do not have enough uh, meat on them to wrap them several times as you're tuning them up. So I got the frets are all done, cleaned up. Their fret ends are, are really nice. Uh, new bone nut, polished it up as well. So it's got a little bit of a gloss to it now. Uh, can't really do too much about the repair work that was done as far as hiding it. It is there. It's always going to be there. And, you know, maybe a sore reminder. Now, the one thing that I do with uh, anything I put clear coat on, okay, uh, to keep the clear coat from cracking, I have a countersink bit that anytime I re-drill out a hole or have to drill a hole, I always take the countersink bit, countersink bit and I kind of go over a little bit so it makes it a little bit wider. So when you're putting that screw inside there, it's not putting pressure around the clear coat and wanting the clear coat or making the clear coat to crack. Now, all the screws over here, are the nuts and, and screws on the back are of the tuners are all locked in. Uh, they're not over tightened as far as what the nuts are on top of the tuner. They're snugged up enough to where you shouldn't have any problems with uh, them coming loose or anything. These are really nice tuners and I think I'm going to end up ordering myself a set of these too. Um, yeah. Now I left the plastic on the back of these and I'm going to kind of turn these to where they're, they're locked. Not locked snug, but locked enough to where they're all facing the same direction. Now, like I said, there is still the plastic on top of the ends of these tuners. You'll have to peel that off yourself, Weedy. So yeah, that's it. I mean, nice smooth neck. It feels like, feels like silk. I mean, this is nice. Uh, headstock came out beautiful. Now, the only thing I ask from you, Weedy, is to send me your new address again because um, I don't have the email anymore. And anything else that you're talking about as far as, uh, you know, stuff that you needed. I know you said you needed some patch cords, so I have those over here. You wanted the old tuners back. I got those over here. Now, I'm going to put the truss rod cover back on here. Now, the neck is straight. All right, I ended up adjusting the... Uh, truss rod to straighten out the neck so I could check the uh, uh, so I could check all the frets out to make sure they're okay. So you might have to tweak the truss rod just a little bit. I'm going to shine this thing up a little bit. Get some of the fingerprints and stuff off of it. 
So I'm gonna put the truss rod cover back on. Please be very, very careful when you're stringing this thing up. Um, this clear coat is pretty hard. Uh, doesn't really scratch that easy, but it can scratch. So I'm gonna put the truss rod cover back on. I pre-drilled all the holes on here so everything lines up fine. So please be very, very careful. Because she is like new now. I mean, it should be, shouldn't have any problems with anything, I hope. Use the tools that I got you for, uh, you know, removing the truss rod cover if you need to and whatever else you gotta do. Whatever doesn't fit these very well. That's better. I'm gonna make a box for this thing. I'm going to wrap this thing in bubble wrap really good and uh, get this thing shipped out to you as soon as, as soon as possible. All right. So here are some pictures. I'm gonna show a long version of the face of this and I'm going to put some pictures up of stock Jackson left-handed headstocks so you can see how close I have the logo set up to so hopefully this is focusing so I'm going to put that right there and I'm going to put some photos up so you can compare the two I try to get it as close as possible to the originals. All right, we thanks a lot for this uh, experience. It was fun. Sorry it's been taking so long. Uh, if it wasn't for those first two decals that I put on here, this probably would have been done maybe a month ago. Um, waiting for paint dry, that's kind of adds a lot of time to it, and I wanted to make sure that. Uh, this clear was nice and dry and cured to where I could work with it without having any issues or problems. So you guys take it easy, have a good one, and uh, after I get your information again, Weedy, this will be back in the mail to you. You know what? They think he's a mad dog. <laughs> and he is too.